The CenterWare Administrator is a rich internet application which does not require any software to be installed onto the computer. You simply need to point your browser to the correct URL, enter your username and password, and you will be able to administer all the aspects of CenterWare. Upon entering the dashboard, you'll be able to see all the different aspects that compose the call center at any given time. At the very top, I can see the agent activity, followed by this icon, which allows me to view the workgroups. This displays all the workgroups that have been created in the contact center. If I click on the disclosure bar, I can see all the supervisors that are associated with any particular workgroup, and all the agents that are associated with that workgroup. The square next to it, in this case, is represented by a square with a 10 with half green and half orange. This represents the number of campaigns and or ACD groups that I am monitoring at the moment. If I double click on it, I will get a window that will display all the different campaigns in green and all of the different ACD groups in orange. In centerware, green always represents outbound and orange always represents inbound. If I were, for example, the supervisor for just one of these campaigns and I did not want to see anything else, I would simply only select the campaign that was relevant to me, click apply, and now I only see the agents that are, that are associated with a particular campaign and I see a specific icon and the name of the campaign that I, that I am monitoring. What I see here now is the agents, the time that they've been on this particular state, the phone number with whom they are speaking at the moment, and the ACD group or campaign that has passed the particular agent the call. The different colors and icons represent what the agent is doing and how long they've been doing it. For example, a blue icon with blue text tells me that this agent is engaged in dialogue. Green represents somebody that is waiting for the next call to be passed to them. Orange represents somebody that is doing the wrap-up, dispositioning the call, etc. And red represents somebody that is unavailable at any given time. I can get more information if I take my mouse and I hover over the particular agent. Larry Parsons. This is the IP address of his workstation. I can see how long he's been on this particular conversation. This is the length of the current call. The cumulative time or the total time that he has been engaged in actual conversation since his shift began. The phone number with whom he is speaking. This call ID number represents the file for the recording of this particular conversation. So if I later want to go and listen to that recording, I can very easily do that. SPX represents the name of the campaign or the ACD group that has passed the call to the agent. These buttons allow me to see the results or the performance of the agent. If I click on this pie chart, it'll give me the different dispositions this particular agent has assigned to each one of the calls that he has taken. I can very quickly see how efficient or how good the data has been as it pertains to the particular calls that the agent has taken. If an agent is a member of several campaigns, I can click on a different campaign and see the dispositions as he has classified them on the other campaigns. This is a very useful tool as I compare one agent to another to see how well they have performed. This button allows me to chat with any specific agent. If I want to talk with them without interrupting them, I can simply send them a chat message. Do you need help? I can send it to this particular agent or I can select a number of agents that I want to receive this particular message. I can select a group or I can select the entire call center to receive this particular chat message. Agents can similarly chat with their supervisor. These three buttons are important because they allow me to monitor the agent in real time. If I click on this monitor button, I can listen in on the conversation that this particular agent is having. Neither the agent nor the customer know that I'm listening in to them. Let's listen to see how they're doing. Yeah. You can write down the name of this school if you want. The first one is okay. Grand Canyon University. Grand, uh, we will hang up on that agent. If I want to be able to speak with the agent without the customer knowing, in other words, coach them or whisper in their ears, I can click on this middle button and I can coach the agent. The customer, again, does not hear me. Only the agent does. 
If I need to become part of the conversation, I can click on this button and we will all be conferenced in and be part of the same conversation. It will be a three-way call. Other statuses like wrap-up can be viewed in here. You can see how long it's taking an agent to disposition a particular call, their total cumulative time for all the calls, etc. An agent that is in green tells me that this person is waiting for the next call to be passed to them. If I want to set this agent as unavailable, I can click on this button and the agent will go unavailable. If I want to prevent this agent from going unavailable, I can click on the block unavailable. Another status that will show for an agent is unavailable. If I take the mouse and hover over the unavailable, it'll tell me how long this particular agent has been unavailable this time and what is the cumulative time that this agent has been unavailable in their entire shift. It'll also tell me the reason why the agent is unavailable this time. If I see the agent is uh, sitting at their desk, for example, I can click on this button and change their status from unavailable to ready. I can similarly change their status to unavailable if I want to speak with them and I can say exactly the reason why I want them to go unavailable. Let's say I want to speak with them. Let's have a meeting with the agent and set their status to unavailable. And now the agent can have the instruction to come and talk to me. So I can sort the agents by the status, by the state. I can sort the agent by name, by the time they've been on a particular status, by the call or by the campaign that they're speaking with. So this is a very useful tool that allows me to see in real time how my agents are doing. The multicolor bar at the bottom of this section tells me the status of all the agents and what they're doing. For example, the blue represents how many are actually speaking. Orange represents the agents that are unavailable or that are doing wrap-up. And green represents the agents that are ready for their next call. If I click on this pie chart, it'll show me the activity of the call center in real time. How many people are on the call, how many people are off the, off the phone, unavailable, etc. And you'll see peaks and valleys up here as the agents get on and off the phone.